and today's video is going to be another top five Wednesday. This is a good read group hosted by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes. Both links are down below for your perusal. The topic of today's video is authors that you want more from. Authors who you are well aware that they have more books out but you just haven't had a chance to read them all and you really want to get a hand on their books because the ones you did read were pretty cool. First book on this list is going to be a manga and that is Skippy by Yoshiki Nakamaru. Ah. Mm. I'm very bad at this. I am sorry that I had to butcher someone's name. I understand how difficult it is to have a hard name for some people to pronounce. I'm not good at reading things that I'm not quite sure of pronunciation. Point is, this author is fabulous. One of my favorite mangas is Skippy. I've also read Tokyo Paradise by her. Both of them are fabulous. I like them because they make me laugh a lot, but they also have interesting plot lines. Sometimes they can get really, really dark. So Skippy is about a girl who gets betrayed by her best friend and her crush. Uh, her best friend and her crush are the same person. They're not two different people who betrayed her point is she gets betrayed she decides that the only way to pay him back is to become an actor because he is a rock star so she must get into the entertainment business to prove that she's better and then stomp on his soul she is a very interesting character and this story is yet to be finished and i'm hoping that she hurries it up because i want to know what happens to my girl and i would like to see more from her i think I think she has another one, I'm not quite sure, but if she, if she does, if she doesn't, still want to see more. The next book on this list is poetry, which is kind of unusual for me because I'm not really a poetry fanatic except for this poet, and that's Shel Silverstein. So this book is actually one of my childhood Shel Silverstein books. I have two of them. Um, one is where the sidewalk ends and I believe this one is a light in the attic. It is. Shel Silverstein was and is my favorite poet. I have always loved him and he is the only, only poet that I've ever truly enjoyed. All people must read Shel Silverstein. If you haven't, your life simply isn't complete and I suggest you do something with it like read his series of poetry. I've only read, of course, the two that I own. I've read a few of his others like The Giving Tree and things like that, but I do not own some of his other poetry books and I want to own them and read all of the poems in there so I can know that I have read every single poem that he's ever written and published and if I could get his diary where he wrote other poems I would get that too. Plus, of course, this is, he's the one who introduced me to pictures over here. I always liked his crazy little doodles. They were really fun. Next book on this list I have a video for and that is A Vengeance Road. So I'm not going to explain much of this because I've noticed that even though I have videos for books I just tend to go on about it forever. This book is by Aaron Bowman. This book is about what you th would believe it's about, Vengeance Road. It's about vengeance. It's about a girl who's like, you did me wrong, I'm gonna kill you the right way. You're gonna be a dead. And that's the whole book, the whole premise, the whole way through, and I love it. So I really did love this, and I loved Erin Bowman's writing. And I know she has another series that's like a sci-fi sort of thing. And I want to try it, but I got introduced to her writing Western, and I just want to stick here. That's why I'm super excited that she's coming out with a new book, Retribution Trials, and it's going to be released in November. Uh, next book is by Ray Carson, and that is A Girl of Fight and Thorn. I know I'm a horrible singer. I don't care. You needed that anyway. This is one of my favorite books ever. Again, I do have a video on it, so just go and watch that. Point is, it's one of my favorites, and Ray Carson is a writer that I just love to read. I love how she brings in different cultures. I love the discussions that she has with her characters, and I love the fact that her characters grow! Her plots grow! Her stories grow! And nothing completely stands still. And a lot of books, although I love them, sometimes your character never changes despite all of the stuff that happens to them. <clears throat> Harry. He changes a little bit, but he's still basically the same 11-year-old kid, only this time with even more horrifying memories. So, 
I love this woman. I love her writing. I know she has another trilogy. I think the third book to that trilogy will be out in October. So I plan to order them on more towards that end so that I can get the complete trilogy and just binge read it because I know that's what I'm going to do anyway. Last book on my list is a book that I read slash listened to recently and that is by Frederick Backman, A Man Called Uva. This was amazing. You probably saw it in one of my that, that rehaul video that I did. <sighs> so of course I listened to this book on audiobook but I bought the physical book because I just had to see it on my shelf as well. This is fantastic. I love the storytelling style. I think it's just a stroke of genius. I've never seen backflashes integrated so perfectly. And then of course, Uva is just the best guy ever. Like, oh, I love how he's always like, man, why are you people so stupid all the time? Like, it's my favorite. And he's justified in it because a lot of times, like you see, you hear how he's thinking and he's not being malicious. He just simply thinks that you're being a fool and he's wondering why you're being a fool. He is your quintessential old guy and he's just the, the best. And he, he just has this idea of right and wrong and it's fantastic. And I know that Frederick Backman has other books and I would love to read those ones. He is a Swedish writer and then this of course was translated by someone else but I just oh, I don't know it's his writing style it's his characters everything those are all the books in this top five Wednesday from authors that I want to see more of and why so if you have read any of these authors before if you're like ah yes I would like more of that author if you have an author that is your absolute favorite and you want to see more from them whether or not they have written more books or whether or not they simply have so many books out that you can't pick out which one to start next comment down below let me know what did you think? How do you feel? I'm not quite sure. I only know my own personal feelings because I'm not a telepath, but that's not the point. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button to see more. I really do appreciate such support. It makes me seem less crazy when I sit here talking to a camera in my room and I'm pretty sure everyone out in the hallway can just hear me yelling at this thing. But you know, <laughs> the struggles of being the crazy girl around point is that's the end of this video so goodbye internet